Hey, Chris Spurvey here, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you the one thing that you need to be focusing on to build a seven-figure consulting practice. Uh, perhaps you're in your late 40s or early 50s, or maybe even into your 60s. It's irrelevant. The reality of it is you are at the best point in your life to build a thriving, sustainable consulting practice serving business uh, businesses out there uh, because you have all the experience uh, from your past bringing it into the future and you are well equipped to serve the people who are presently in the seat you were in three to five years prior. So whether you are just starting out or you're uh, looking to grow, scale your consulting business, uh, then this video is going to help. So when I started my consulting business, I got overwhelmed. I got overwhelmed by all the different uh, thought leaders and experts out there that are uh, preaching how to go about building a consulting business. And I, I, I got myself into a situation where I thought I needed to be a marketing expert. I needed to attract thousands and thousands of people to me, uh, list building and so on. And so what I came to realize, and I learned this from my mentor, is that to grow a thriving consulting boutique niche consulting practice, it can be done with what now I have called the core 200. Now, the number 200, it might be a few more, it might be less, it could be 50, depending on the number of clients that you're looking to have. Now, what is the core 200? The core 200 are decision makers out there in the market who are aware you exist, they see you as credible and trustworthy, they have or will have or have had the problem that you solve and they, it's just a matter of timing, okay? So the core 200 from my vantage point, what I learned is that we can build a thriving practice off of just a small circle of influence. It doesn't have to be a mass spray and pray. It doesn't have to cost millions of dollars to grow a, a consulting practice. We just need to focus on what's the most efficient way to connect and grow awareness, to in turn grow our credibility, our trust, and our interest, so that when the timing is right, they will think of us and reach out to us to have a conversation. So we wanna become known for something within this core 200. The way I have found to connect with that core 200 is which what I call an opportunity engine. We want to build one well-oiled opportunity engine. And what I have found, and I've said it in previous videos, is that the way, if they're not, now, now let me be clear, a lot of the people in your core 200 may be already people who are in your Rolodex. They may already know you exist. And it's just a matter of reaching out to them getting a coffee going with them, maybe a Zoom session with them, and just start conversating, diagnostically conversating with them about the problems that they have and sharing with them where you are and what the types of problems you're looking to solve. And you, you may look at it and say, well, I have 70, I have 30, I have 20 people already in my core 200. Now, where's the Delta going to come from? What I have found, a well-oiled opportunity engine uh, being led by a little bit of advertising, for me, my little opportunity engine, which connects me with decision makers, I spend $30 to $50 a day on, a, on an ad on LinkedIn that focuses on the pain I solve. It's not an ad that focuses on um, uh, what I do. It focuses on the pain I solve. I solve for boutique consulting founders the feast or famine, ups and downs, ebbs and flows of revenue. And I have now since worked with a bunch of boutique founders focusing on building uh, opportunity engines that connect them with their core 200. And the, way, and the way we do it is the exact same way. A low budget ad on LinkedIn, focusing on the pain we solve, it gets the click. And then when, when they click, they give us their information and then we can nurture them into being our core 200 over time. Some of them are gonna be in the fast lane, meaning they wanna talk right away. The, the pain is, uh, is uh, very evident and they want it solved today. But others are gonna be uh, in the slow lane. They're gonna need to be nurtured, build, awareness, build further awareness, build further credibility. And I'm gonna go into more detail in future videos about how we do this. But to, for today's video, I just wanted to share, share with you what I fundamentally believe is a hopeful, simplistic message that to build a, a sustainable, growing, thriving, seven-figure consulting practice, we need to focus on one thing, and that is to grow and nurture our core 200.
okay? So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be sharing more videos uh, over the next uh, few weeks on how to grow an opportunity engine, how to approach uh, your conversations with these uh, prospects diagnostically, and how do you fundamentally wedge yourself in uh, via a, um, um, an offer that the uh, prospect can, can uh, you know, they basically need and they engage you in that and you land and expand. I call that the wedge, okay? So have a wonderful day. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel, leave any comments, reach out if you feel like you uh, have any questions and would like to have a conversation with me about what I do to help boutique uh, consulting founders grow their business. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you again soon.